In this advanced tutorial, we're going to use the rain pack from Lens Distortions in After Effects to take these shots to the next level. Let's jump right in. First, let's select our footage and hit Command D to duplicate it. Next, we'll go to Effects, Color Correction, and grab a Curves Adjustment. We're just going to temporarily crank up the brightness on this shot, which will make it a lot easier to rotoscope. Okay, with our footage selected, Let's go to Layer, Precompose. We'll call it Roto. And we want to move all attributes into the new composition. Let's grab the Roto tool and double click on the footage precomp. We'll just trace the edges of the parts we want to keep. And if it doesn't get it perfect the first time, no worries, because we'll hold down the Option key to erase the parts we don't want. Now begins the slow part. Hit Command and the right arrow to go forward frame by frame. You want to make sure the edge detection is accurate. If little parts get messed up, just fine tune the edges with the roto brush as you go. We're going to skip forward, but for reference, it took about five minutes to rotoscope this whole shot. Tedious? but totally worth it. Now that that's done, we'll head back to our composition. Let's shut off our background layer and fine tune a couple roto settings. We'll maybe soften it up, bring the contrast down a bit, and reduce the chatter. Since we made some adjustments to the color grade before we rotoscoped the shot, we're actually only going to use this layer as an alpha mat. So we'll go to Effects, Color Correction, and grab the Tint Effect. And we'll tint the layer white. Let's turn our background layer back on, and we'll hit Command D to duplicate it. And we'll set the Track Mat to Alpha Mat. It's almost time to add some rain. But first, let's motion track the shot. To do that, we'll select the background layer, Go to Animation and select Track in Mocha AE. This is a fantastic piece of software that comes with After Effects. We'll just open the shot up in Mocha and we'll use the Pen tool to select the part we want to motion track. And then we'll hit the Track Forwards button. This will take a quick minute to track, so we'll skip ahead. Once it's done, We'll just click Export Tracking Data and copy the After Effects Transform Data to our clipboard. Now we'll head back to After Effects and paste the tracking data. First, we'll go to Layer and we'll create a new Null Object. And we'll hit Command V to paste the tracking data. If you hit the U key, it'll bring up the keyframes. In our situation, we don't really need the scale to be animated, so we'll deselect all the keyframes then hit the stopwatch to remove the scale keyframes. Alrighty, time to import some rain. Just right click in your project and choose import, then select the Lens Distortions Rain folder. We're just going to drag and drop the first rain clip into our project, and we'll set the blend mode to screen, and we'll parent our rain to the motion tracking layer, which is our null object. Lastly, we'll grab a Curves Adjustment and dial in the final look. 